In this video, you will get a good understanding of how to view real-time metrics and statistics and generate advanced testing reports with TestRail. TestRail comes with various reporting options and many of the metrics testing teams need on a daily basis are built directly into TestRail's interface. The statistics and metrics you can find on TestRail's project, test run, or plan and milestone overview pages always show the latest status of your testing efforts in real time. For example, when we open a test run, the test run overview page always shows the latest status report of the test run. As a user, you can also group your tests by status by clicking on the column header. Each user can also customize their view by adding new columns based on the different fields in their tests. On the right sidebar of your overview page, you will see several other tabs that you can view to provide additional insight into various metrics of your project, run, or milestone. Let's start at the activity page. This page offers an insight on the activity of the test run over time, highlighting all changes and test results that have been added for the life cycle of the test run. On this page, you can easily track the added results per day and get an overview of the activity within the run via the built-in chart. Instead of just showing the latest status of your tests, the activity report shows all test results that were added for the test run. In the sidebar, you can also find the progress page. This comes with a unique forecasting feature, which uses the estimates in your test cases and historical elapsed time data when adding results to generate a forecast of the remaining effort to complete the run. Using this information, you can get a good idea of how much time your tests will take to execute and how much time will be needed to complete the test run. The burndown chart on the progress page shows how much work is left to do based on the time each test case will likely take to execute. Right under, you can find the projected completion date for this specific test run, along with various other metrics and statistics. In general, the more tests you run over time with elapsed values, the higher accuracy of these forecasts will be. The final tab you can view is the Defects tab, which will show an overview of the defects you have linked when adding your test results. In the chart at the top, you can see the total number of tests the total number of results added to those tests, and the total number of defects logged or linked. Below the chart, you'll see a full list of any issues added manually to the defects field or that were created using the add or push functions. Within the defects list, it will populate the title of the linked issue as well as the current status, which is pulled in real time from your linked issue tracker. You can also use the hover preview option by hovering over the issue ID link to see more details at a glance without viewing the issue directly in your defect tracker. The status, activity, progress, and defect reports are also available for test plans and milestones. Using these additional pages, you can track the status of linked issues and bugs, all logged activity, and the overall progress of each of the different entities in test rail. For additional reporting options, you can also head to the Reports tab. The Reports tab comes with various built-in reporting templates in the sidebar that make it easy to generate, schedule, and share statistics and metrics. For example, there are templates to create summary reports for your runs, plans, milestones, and the project as a whole, or reports to see the coverage of bugs or requirements, or comparison reports for multiple test runs, and much more. Now let's create a new report with TestRail. To create reports with your status, activity, and progress metrics of your project's test runs or milestones, you can use one of TestRail's summary reports. Such reports could be used for weekly team meetings or for sharing statistics with the management team or clients. To demonstrate, let's create a summary report for one of our milestones. As you can see, there are plenty of options to customize the reporting output. The first section you'll see is the Report Options. In this section, the system will automatically populate a very basic title with a date variable to make them easier to find, but you can change the title as needed. 
You'll also see the option to add a description of the report, then link a dropdown to select the specific milestone you want to generate the report for. You can also select the different sections of metrics in the report that you would like to see included. Across the top of the report options, you'll also see some different tabs that will allow you even greater control of the report contents. By going to the Activity tab, we can set a time frame for the information that should be included in the report, so you can have it display only information from the period of time you choose. You can also set which test result statuses you'd like to include, so you could create a report that only details the failed tests, for example. The final tab in this report is the Tests tab, which will allow you to specify which tests should be included based on a user-configured filter. Here, you can also change the columns that will display in the report for the included tests, and you can set a maximum number of tests to display. Below the report options, you'll also see a section for access and scheduling. Here, you can limit the access to the report if needed and configure a schedule for the report. You can schedule a report to generate on a recurring basis for a specific time and interval so you can create daily, weekly, or monthly reports that will be created automatically. There is also an option here for on-demand via the API, which will allow you to trigger the creation of this report using TestRails API, which is very useful for teams using automation scripts or tools so that upon completion of an automated testing phase, a report can be generated and sent out to the relevant users. You can also enable notifications about the reports to be sent to your TestRail users or have them emailed to your colleagues that don't have TestRail access in either PDF or HTML format. Once a user saves the report, TestRail will begin generating it immediately or will schedule it based on the settings you configured. Most reports should only take a few minutes to generate, but reports based on particularly large runs, milestones, or projects can sometimes take a little bit longer to complete. Once the report has been created and we open it, we can see all the important metrics regarding this milestone at a glance. These metrics include the testing status, the included test runs, the activity, and so on. Another helpful report, especially for managers, is the workload summary report. In this report, you can see the assigned tasks for each one of your testers. This allows you to identify the testers with the highest and lowest workload and assign new tasks accordingly. If you are interested in seeing which of your test cases have been used the most over time or which have the highest failure rate, you can select the status tops report. Here, you will find a list of your test cases based on the number of test results they receive. For example, this report shows the top 10 test cases based on the number of different statuses that have been applied to it. In this case, you can use it to identify the features that are the most problematic with your application. Another useful report is the Defects Summary Report. This report helps you identify all of the issues and defects you have linked to your test results. If your test rail account has been integrated with an issue or bug tracking tool such as JIRA, you can directly jump to the bug reports to look up any additional details. Keep in mind that once you generate a report in TestRail, you always have the option to print, download, or forward a copy of it, or you can duplicate reports that you have generated before. Although we mentioned some of the most important reports in TestRail, you can always try any other reporting option that is presented to you in the sidebar of your Reports tab. If you are interested in creating a custom report for your team's specific needs, you can find a link to the documentation in the description bar. That's all for now. To learn about the different options in TestRail's administration menu and how to customize TestRail to better suit your needs, check out the next video in this series.